Hey gang, Diana Trout here today with some of uh, Pam Carricker's new paints and inks that she's kindly sent uh, me. And these are sheer colors and they're just a little earthy, which I love, both the sheerness and the earthiness of them. And uh, some of them are more earthy than others, but um, we'll talk about that as we go through. And let's just make some little landscapes. I'm using the Strathmore watercolor paper, and it's five and a half by eight and a half. It's a real nice little pad, pretty inexpensive. And um, I just happen to love the format and the size. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'll be using today is, uh, aside from the paper, is the uh, Derivan liquid pencil, and this is the re this is the permanent. It's not re wettable. We want that to be permanent. Uh, three brushes. I, I have a rigger brush here, uh, or a liner brush. I, I don't know that I'll use it, and then a little fatter brush. Don't need great big brushes because it's a small format. We'll be using Pam's turquoise and the uh, turquoise is an ink and the, the um, celadon is a green, lovely green and a goldenrod. So you can see uh, the goldenrod is a good example that these colors are a little earthier and I'm going to give these, give these a shake. I do want to tell you uh, Make sure the lid's on really tight and give them a good shake before you, you use them. I'm just, I'm using the tip of the brush and yeah, this takes a little practice. Okay, so I've done this piece and it has some pattern down here and it also has the, the split and some more hills in the background. And a kind of cool thing about this uh, liquid pencil is that you can burnish it and it it gets shiny like graphite so I kind of like that texture change and by the way this is um, a uh, cold press paper so it does have some of those bumps it's not completely smooth but you could definitely do some stenciling on it um, stamping probably not so good but stencils are great so I've laid out some of this beautiful turquoise blue for the sky and that's an ink and the poppy which is uh, the poppy and the green celadon are both uh, paints and but you can see how loose they are and the goldenrod is an ink so they behave very beautifully but let me show you how just I do a sky and you're not going to see anything because I'm painting around I am, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. You can see it a little bit. You can see that I'm painting around um, some areas and I can't even see it that well. But just wetting my brush and dipping it in and painting around. And you'll see in a second what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to dip right in here into this turquoise. And uh, once I get that down on the paper, you're going to see it spreads, but it's not going to spread into the dry areas. So that's a good quick way to make a background with some clouds, and I'm just kind of carefully scooting the paint around. Okay, so that's it. I mean, that's the tricky part. Not so tricky. I'm just going to go ahead and put in some, I'm mixing some colors together here. You can see that goldenrod is just, let me just show you that, but just mixing in some colors and making some areas darker and lighter with that, the graphite I used will help with that. So going back to this piece is completely dry, so I can go ahead and put some, just wetting my brush, and a good tip is to just make sure this ferrule area is dry and then you won't get drippy. Um, I'm just going to create a field of 
flowers by just doing dots. Another technique I like to use, and I use it a lot in landscape work, is um, just taking a little card, piece of plastic card, it does have to be pretty stiff, and sort of scrubbing and scratching it in. You might wind up with a blob and then just pull the wet paint with a blob uh, with your plastic hunk. And you can also just tap, I'm tapping it into that green and let's see if I can get this on camera. You have to sort of drag it through. So I hope you'll think about doing some landscape. It's really not that hard. Just think about the big picture. Hills, mountains, it's flat, and, you know, ocean, that's landscape too. And um, then, then go to your photo references for some uh, more ideas. I'll put some links and photos up on my blog. Thanks for watching. There's my thumb. Thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys.